Hey everybody, my name is Derek Lofman and I'm going to talk to you today about Manga Studio and also a little bit about how to get better at drawing. Hope you guys like it. So Manga Studio I've been using for just over a year now. It's better in a lot of ways than Photoshop. Um, mainly the thing I like the most is that it uses a slight auto correction um, on your line and you really avoid any jittering of the line when uh, that you get in Photoshop um, it's subtle but I noticed ever since I started uh, using my Cintiq um, about four years ago I've been using Cintiq 24 HD for yeah, about four years now. I found in Photoshop, it was hard to get a nice curved line without it uh, jittering. Um, I would be drawing a line five to 10 times um, when it was a curve, just to get it to uh, look right, or I'd be correcting with an eraser um, tool just to uh, get it to look crisp. And um, after using Manga Studio, for about an hour, I realized uh, that they had solved that issue um, with their um, slight auto correcting, and uh, it makes a huge difference in the quality of the, of my ink lines uh, digitally. The um, the other thing I like um, is the price. Uh, if anyone is thinking about getting into digital art. Um, it's an affordable way to do it. Um, it. It was only, I think I got on sale for $30 at the time, and right now I think it's $50, which is nothing compared to what Photoshop costs um, if you want to get a legit copy of Photoshop. Um, I pay a monthly subscription to Photoshop because um, I do use it a lot, and uh, that runs about 20 US a month, and uh, it it's well worth it, uh, especially if you're doing this for a living, um, creating art, I mean. Um, if it's a main part of your tool set, um, 20 bucks a month in the grand scheme of things isn't a lot. But if you're looking to get into digital art, I definitely recommend um, using Mang Studio. It's, uh, for me, it was similar in a lot of ways to Photoshop. Uh, they use a lot of the same um, shortcut keys and they really uh, do a good job of making that transition. I think they're aware that a lot of people were probably very familiar with Photoshop and how they set up their layers and um, the certain tools that you're used to using. So they, they copied a lot of that stuff over. Um, it's not one-to-one -one copy. There's definitely a learning curve. I'd say it took me two to three days to really get used to it, and I've been able to figure out my own little workarounds uh, for some of the things they don't support uh, from Photoshop um, in the layers uh, section. Overall, it's awesome though. Um, so, inking digitally um, in Manga Studio, I uh, typically use the default pens. I don't really change anything. Um, I work really big. Usually I'm working on 6,000 by 6,000 canvas, uh, pixel canvas. The default pens um, are great, um, as is the, the pen tools themselves, um, the inking pens. I, uh, I just typically use the G pen. Um, it's the first one at the top there. Uh, I find it does a great job with the line weights. Um, that I like to see in my ink work. Um, so I can't really speak on uh, too much about how to manipulate uh, the tools uh, since I just use the default ones, but they're great and uh, they do everything I need, um, which is great because you can jump right in and start using it without messing around too much. The, uh, the other thing I want to talk about when uh, inking digitally um, is that it's going to be, for me, it's a lot 
it's a lot faster than inking traditional. I enjoy inking traditional. There's a certain uh, joy I get um, sitting down and actually getting a little bit messy and um, putting the line um, to paper. But when I need things to be done fast and I don't want to worry about um, correcting my mistakes too much, uh, it's definitely the way to go digital. So I also want to talk to you about some of the other features um, outside of uh, inking that I like to uh, use Manga Studio for. Um, I do all my sketching in Manga Studio. I find uh, their pencil tools to be just as handy as their inking tools. The brushes, the default brushes again, um, pencil brushes are great. They um, have a lot of variety. You can um, you can get uh, nice quality pencil lines. Um, almost gives you the sense that you're drawing in pencil. Um, I like to change things up every once in a while when I'm sketching. Um, that's something I suggest to anyone if they ever feel like they're stuck in a rut um, drawing digitally or even traditionally. Sometimes changing up the medium helps uh, draw in a different color use a different style of brush um, it's uh, I don't know it seems to open um, open up the creativity a little more for me so it's something I suggest uh, giving a try if you ever feel like you're in a bit of a rut um, the other thing I want to talk about uh, that I find really handy in Manga Studio uh, I love it for doing my flats, um, my color flats for you, for those of you familiar with uh, coloring digitally, um, typically, um, especially complex style drawings, stuff like that, you're going to want to uh, flat your colors on an image. And uh, I find their settings are really easy to get into for um, trapping around uh, an object, uh, filling in a gap. So you, if you try in Photoshop, you're using um, alias drawings, if you're missing one little pixel off, uh, you then close a gap. Um, when you're doing a selection with the wand, it'll fill that. Uh, it won't It won't compensate for that. It'll just go right into your drawing and you have to kind of find all the little pixel gaps. And when you work as big as I do, trying to find that one little pixel gap is sometimes uh, really time consuming and annoying. The uh, But that's um, something that's easily displayed um, the uh, the way you're able to just uh, make those adjustments of of how uh, the threshold of closing the gap and the options are all right there um, in the tool window. So yeah, I, I like it for that. So I do all my flatting in Mega Studio. I typically once I go to actually um, do the coloring, I'll go over to Photoshop. I find Photoshop is going to be better for um, manipulating layers, um, just the way you can grab layers and copy and paste things really quickly. Um, I find that to be really handy. There's a little bit of um, that missing from Manga Studio, but uh, I wouldn't let that deter you from using the program. Something I wanted to mention too is in Manga Studio, I've noticed um, some of their paintbrush um, options are pretty cool. I haven't done a lot of digital painting in Manga Studio. I typically don't do a lot of digital painting anyway. Uh, I do more cell shaded uh, comic book style uh, coloring, but uh, I've messed around a little bit with their paint, paint tools and um, they seem pretty cool. So for the price of 50 bucks, um, what you get with Mega Studio is pretty insane. The uh, the other cool option is uh, you can save your files in PSDs, and if you have Photoshop, it's easy just to um, save them as PSDs and open them in Photoshop, and they work right away. Uh, and that comes in really handy if you want to bounce back and forth between the two programs. So I think I've covered all the things that I like about Manga Studio for digital inking. Um, I touched on a little bit for sketching. 
I'll probably post a video um, of sketching process um, later. But um, um, the other cool thing I want to talk about that I haven't really ex got into too much, but I hope to um, in the future, is that they have a setup for um, comic book pages. And um, some of you may be aware that I've been toying with the idea of doing my own uh, comic. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I'm finally uh, finding the time to work on that project and uh, writing it myself and doing all the art. It's going to be a, a huge undertaking, um, but I'm hoping Manga Studio will help make that a little bit easier in terms of uh, setting up the pages and things like that because they have built-in templates that hopefully will come in really handy for me um, when I eventually get uh, into it. The um, other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, I have an art book coming out in hopefully June um, is the uh, time frame I'm aiming for. Uh, it's comprised of uh, a lot of art that I've done over the last uh, couple of years in particular and it has everything from concept art uh, that I've done for uh, a few of my clients. Um, my own video game, uh, Bullet Age, it's got a lot of concept art from that and uh, a bunch of fan art. Um, some that you've seen, some that you haven't, um, some of the behind the scenes sketches from that stuff. Um, I've really packed it in um, the pages with art. Um, I'm not doing uh, one image per page uh, for this book, I'm, I'm trying to fill it as much as I possibly can uh, with sketches and finished art and all that. So I'm hoping you guys uh, really get a kick out of that. And yeah, so I'll be posting more information about that in the next week or two. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is a couple of questions that I frequently get asked um, that I can answer. Um, hopefully you guys find that information helpful. Um, so, okay, so the first thing I get asked a lot is how can I learn to draw like you? That is a uh, funny question. Um, it comes up a lot. It's, uh, it's a valid question. Um, I think uh, anybody sees somebody um, doing anything that is uh, at a higher level than where they feel they're at, um, whether it's uh, playing uh, musical instruments or, um, you know, drawing in, in my case. Uh, I certainly <laughs> wonder that sometimes when I see uh, artists that I really admire that I feel are leaps and bounds uh, better than I am. Um, I want to ask that same question. How do I draw like you? But ultimately the the answer is, uh, you know, really the question you want to ask is how do I get better at art? And um, as somebody who's been drawing myself um, pretty much my whole life, I'm 38 now, I've been drawing professionally for 15 years. The, the best answer I can give you is that when you want to get better at anything you're going to have to put um everything into it you're gonna to have to put all your time into it um you have to dedicate yourself it has to be something you really really want to do um there's certain skills that you need to acquire and the only way to acquire them is to practice and um whether it's watching a tutorials or um going to school um, there's lots of ways out there that you can um, leap um, to that next level. You could sit in your room and you could draw for, you know, 10 years and never look at anybody else's art, never see anybody else's techniques, and you're going to be better than you were when you started. That's a no-brainer. You'll just get better. Um, the problem is you're probably not going to evolve um, as much as someone who studied art at a school with uh, good teachers, um, good peers around them, someone who 
um, watches tutorials, um, buys art books, studies them. So there's ways to get better faster. Um, how you approach learning um, how to draw is probably just as important as the time you put into it. There's no real fast track, but there's definitely something to be said about, you know, if you go about learning the right way. Um, and I always tell people, um, you know, you, you want to learn the fundamentals uh, first before, say, if you want to be a comic book artist, you need to understand anatomy. You need to understand perspective. And you're going to need to understand um, storytelling. There's, whole, there's a lot of things you need to learn before you, say, jump into being a comic book artist or a concept artist or a painter. There's um, so many things you need to learn first uh, at the core level. And school is probably the best uh, way to get yourself started. And it doesn't have to be necessarily expensive art school. Um, taking a class, uh, maybe you work during the day, taking an evening course um, at a college uh, is handy. I, I did that um, when I was trying to build my portfolio to get into uh, college. And I found that handy just having someone um, to help mentor a little bit and push me in the right direction to build a portfolio um, to get into the art school I wanted to get into. Um, and, you know, there's also other ways to go about um, uh, learning. Like, I mean, nowadays, like when I was going to school, there wasn't um, YouTube and uh, you know, those I could learn from books and that was the closest thing I had. But nowadays, obviously, you can watch somebody like you're watching me draw right now. Um, that's that's going to make um, a whole huge difference. I've already noticed um, there's a lot more talented artists who are, you know, not even 20 yet, who I'm sure have been learning from watching tutorials online and, and um they're amazing already and i think the technology is really helping people get better faster so you don't necessarily have to go to an expensive art school to get good but uh, i certainly recommend at least some courses um with uh hopefully a decent art teacher the um the other thing is too you need to really dedicate yourself uh you can't you can't draw for you know a couple hours a week and expect to get a lot better you need to you need to be doing it like every day um, I draw probably 8 to 12 hours every single day and I mean it is my job um, I, I draw for a living it's how I pay my bills um, it's how I uh, put food on the table for my family so um, yeah I I can't emphasize enough that if you do want to get better you need to put in the time um, that's uh, that's the main thing that you need to know um, but not just putting in the time it's also learning the right way so whether it's spending an hour drawing your own hand or finding a 3d model of a skull online and drawing it from multiple angles for an hour or you know focusing on just drawing eyes and expressions or drawing gestures give yourself challenges um, find good tutorials online and try to copy what they're doing um, try to learn as much as you can uh, don't get stuck drawing the same way you draw right now. Try to expand, try to challenge yourself um, with those tutorials and you'll find that putting in that time and dedication, you will get better faster. Um, I've seen it happen with a few of my friends that are amazing artists now who started drawing more later in life and you do not have to be quote unquote born with uh, the skill to draw um, you really just need to 
uh, put the time, dedication, in, and you will get better. I'm going to be wrapping up this video now, and I just wanted to say that I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen and review. Um, I hope that you like the video and um, let your friends know about it. Um, share it with people. That would be great. Uh, I hope to do more of these videos in the future. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for other type of videos you'd like to see, um, definitely uh, let me know there too. If you want to follow me online, I have an Instagram account, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Go to DerekLoughlin.com and you'll find links to all those social media outlets. So thank you all for taking the time to watch my video and uh, hopefully I'll make another one and I'll see you guys again soon. Okay, take care.